Thank you. Well, fancy having to follow that previous uh, talk just now, but let's now see if we can turn those words into actions. My name is David Appleford. I'm a fellow of the Royal Chartered Institute of Engineering Designers. That's important to me because when I was born in 1945, that institution had started off. It's the Institution of Engineering Designers, what used to be called the Draftsman's Institute. I'm very pleased to say in the last year, we now have our Royal Charter. So my background is a machinery designer. I have a very, very good team of half a dozen guys who work behind me and ladies. And uh, what I want to show you is something to do, not with food, not with energy, but the third human need, shelter. So without further ado, let's move forward. What we have developed is a complete new way of building houses. For me, as a machinery designer in the 21st century, I look around me and I see all sorts of things which are absolutely incredible. And here we are with housing, which quite frankly, the Romans would know how to build. We've got to start to take a completely different way forward if we are to look at the total energy equation. How much does it cost to manufacture the component? How much is it going to cost to transport the component? How much is it going to cost to build the component? And finally, how much is it going to cost in terms of its energy efficiency? I hear a lot about energy efficiency in the house, but what about the total energy equation? We've developed a new type of system. I've got a little example here. It's a three-dimensional locking system. This is just a superstructure. Clearly, it's a model, but it interlinks to the floor, to the walls, to the ceilings. It's all put together with one simple hand tool. So we're like the Egyptians. When we actually install a system, we're using the most efficient machine known to man, muscle power. That system, that house you're looking at there, went up with four men in five days, totally untrained men. Nothing to do with the building industry. What is the problem? Well, I'm just showing this slide. It's almost meaningless. We're 100,000 houses short each year in this country. And this is only a tiny tip of the iceberg. We ourselves expect to get at least 0.1% of that over the next two or three years. And we've already started, because we've already started to sell systems in Ghana, in Abu Dhabi, and now in this country this year, since we've started to launch, we've already got ourselves offices and schools and also affordable housing projects underway right now. When you actually design a new system, you've got to think of people like Prince Charles who want to use the old traditional ways, and then you've got the other end of the scale who want to use modern. So when we came up with a building block system, we had to come up with a system that could create anything, any shape, any style, any size, and any application. Now that is a tall order. But the only way you can achieve that is start with a complete blank sheet, and that is what we've done. Very, very stringent um, testing has to be done. We use UCAS, accreditation testing. We do all the racking testing, the fire testing, the strength testing. And then to get the mortgages, we're actually moving through an organisation called Build Off Site. And that BL is, is linked to BLP, which is BOPAS, which is backed by Lions, C4C are our engineers, and RICS, the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors. That is also linked to five major forwarding banks who will now give mortgages to those companies who are accredited through this route. OK, let's look at the background. To date, we've raised £2 million. And in raising that £2 million, we've managed to develop from effectively very small items that are our first prototypes, right the way through to the demonstration house that we have here now. And in addition to that, we have just signed up a manufacturing license in this country, manufacturing license in South Africa. Oh, by the way, we have 50 patents granted worldwide, with a further 14 pending. Uh, it is a magnificent business to be in. It does everything that the gentleman earlier talked about. It is completely sustainable. The materials we use are sustainable and the implications, as anyone here can see, are absolutely enormous for a system of this nature. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you David.